please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now we will observe a moment of silence. Thank you, Stratford. This broadcast is brought to you by The Yogurt Spot, located on the corner of Kirkwood and Memorial Drive. The flavors of the month are chocolate caramel turtle, orange sorbet, banana, and strawberry shortcake. Good morning, Stratford. This is Patrick Donahoe. And Aya Abraham with your morning announcements. Today is April 3rd, and you're watching SHTV. <laughs> Here is Clay Lamberton with this week's Word of the Week. The Word of the Week is Aussie. This is a slang word for Australian. Let's use it in a sentence. In the great outback of Australia, most of the animals were happy and frolicking. But the wet koala was an angry little cuddle bear. <gasps> Over the past few weeks, David Humphrey sat down with a foreign exchange student to find out what it's like to be a Stratford Spartan. Caitlin Pretorius is a foreign exchange student from South Africa. She was very excited when she learned she would be coming to America. I cried when I found out. It was, it was so exciting. It was just like, honestly, in South Africa, when you hear you're going to America, it's like, oh my gosh, you're going to America. So, it was a big thing. Caitlin has experienced many differences in America, some better than others. This humidity like drove me crazy. Honestly, when I stepped out of the airport, I was like, I don't think I'm going to live. <laughs> and a lot of people are outspoken over here. That's what I think. You know, they like to voice their opinion and they're just so open. And I'm not saying that other people, like back in South Africa, people are not open, but I don't think they're as open as they are over here. Caitlin has been happy with her experience in the U.S. and is glad she has learned a lot. What I've like learned is to be more open with people and communicate more mm -hmm. and, you know, like interact more because, you know, by interacting more, you get to know more people which is what I've honestly learned over here. And you just make new friends, you know, and create more friendships. Here at Stratford America, you meet many friends, maybe some who've come all across the world. Faith Reyes reports on the many cultures you can learn about. SHS is known for its diverse campus. In the 2012-2013 statistics showed that 50% of Stratford students are white, 11% are African American, 26% are Hispanic, and 9% are Asian. I'm Palestinian. I'm from Mexico. I'm from Russia. I'm African American. Food is a big part of almost every culture. Whether it's a cheeseburger in America or a shish kebab from the Middle East, people see it as something that helps make them who they are. There's my mom cooks meals that are straight off the boat from Palestine. Anyway, she knows a bunch of dishes that are, uh, I guess, like dishes of Arab people. I know in Mexico everything's homemade, tortillas, you know, especially the Mexican ladies. They're like always making everything straight out of the oven and stuff, so. Um, there's a lot of uh, salads and the salads are really like different from American salads. They have a lot of like kind of like strange ingredients, but they're really good. Some of them have like meat, uh, different types of vegetables, um, sauces. 
Being of a different background doesn't make you all that different. Sade Williams puts her perspective on what culture truly means. Well, in some way it does, in some way it doesn't, because in the end we're all friends. How much do you know about different cultures? Gianni Stinson got to see how much students really know in this week's IQ test. Finish, people. Finish. Finish. Norwegians. Finland. <laughs> Bananas. Bananas. Beans and rice. Rice and chicken dish. There is no legal age. 18. I believe when you were born. 18. 16. Football. Soccer. Soccer. There's one. Dose. Two. Thank you for watching SHTV. This has been Aya Abraham and Patrick Donahoe with your morning announcements. Make it a great day or not, Stratford. The, the choice, choice is, is yours. yours.